third rate content. Today, today's adventure is going to be Shrewsbury Newport Canal looking for ghosts part two and abandoned cabin in the woods and we'll be looking for ghosts there as well. So uh, I'll see you out here. Just the other side of that road is where we started the uh, first Shrewsbury Newport Canal, the Looking for Ghosts video, and we're going to be going up here, following it out of Shrewsbury. If you want to read it. Mill in the bottom market in the previous video. I haven't done the uh, Longdon on Turn Thomas Telford first iron aqueduct though. Or this uh, warehouse. So this stretch, this stretch you can actually see the canal um, remnant it's visible though water content well it looks very swampy I won't want to go dive in there but it, it, it level is very low the towpath and again the canal I think you could restore it though I mean it would cost a lot of money and a lot of man hours or person hours but you know you just get rid of all the vegetation in it cut it right back and you'd have the canal basically because it's still holding water um, and you've still got the path you know it's all here it could be done you've got a little sort of little remnants of a bridge or perhaps it's been put down later but then the stretch of canal directly after it quite a lot of water in it so you, again, you get an even better picture of what the canal would have been like. I yeah, just thought it'd be an interesting little just to show you here. We've got the canal, um, a lot fuller. Then we've got the we've got the towpath here, and then just behind me, down here, the River Seven. So you got it. You got a trifecta of uh, water and path here but it would be quite feasible still would cost a lot of man hours or person hours and and money but you can really can see behind me the canal could be restored it could be done second one of the second one of these sort of um bridges that we've seen on our walk Cuts, you know, cuts the canal there. I'm not sure if the, it's remnants of a bridge or whether dirt has just been piled up so that you can cut through from the housing estate up there. I'm undecided on that. If anybody knows the answer, feel free to comment. Undoubtedly, the clearest stretch of the uh, Shrewsbury branch of the Shrewsbury Newport Canal here. It's um, I wouldn't say it's clear, but you know, that is a good stretch of of water, you know. I don't know if you could get a canal boat in it yet, but get the ducks in it. So it has basically gone from, um, you know, a, a dirt overgrown little marsh, then up to an algae covered swamp. And now we have actually got water that could probably bear aquatic life. It may do, I can't see any, but it, it may well do. Quite the journey. And thus, we revert to swamp. So we just made our way under here. Canal just on this side. Coming down up towards Hormond Hill, but now the canal is going underneath here. And now crossing over, I'll just show you quickly crossing over 
and now following on down there it'll be on the right hand side as we make our way to Ormond. as you can see after the bridge the canal is now on our right hand side river seven and, and the overflow from it there and this down here is the, is the shrewsbury newport canal and it was on this side of, of the towpath now it's on the other side shrewsbury town center in the distance there you can see St. Mary's and St. Alkman's just behind it. Very windy today. Now leaving the uh, Shrewsbury Newport Canal, we're at an area called Pimley just outside Shrewsbury and we're going to head down here see if we can find what we're looking for and over there Shrewsbury Sports Village and if we follow that little lane we'll get up to Sundorn Road Telford Way Bridge just just there featured on the bridges of Shrewsbury I think it was part one and then the River Seven. Shrewsbury Sports Village. And here we have mysterious sort of structure. I think it's something to do with Shrewsbury Sports Village, but I don't know what it is. It's like a dome. If anybody does know, feel free to leave a comment and educate me. Holmond Hill there. And just on that cliff, the site of Ormond Castle, the river still a little bit in flood there. That first body of water is an um, overspill from the river, just in the background. Then we've got a big, very old oak tree. I don't know if you can see that sign, but that is the footpath to Hormond Hill. But we're not going that way. We're going that way. This could have a double meaning really here in Uffington. It could mean the canal's close or this is canal close. You decide. <laughs> we just made our way down here, hoping to get up there without dying. The nice view of this stream running down here. I'm not sure what the stream's called, but it sure is flowing. Hot abandoned in the woods could only be a good thing surely we're just making our way down the steps here it's like an abandoned farm building the graffiti here obviously interesting know what this cage is here for or was here for maybe it held animals at some point barbecue and an eight building Some people, namely Thomas Sheridan, a cult um, beyond room what 313, channel springs to mind, says that spirits and jinn occupy, occupy abandoned buildings. A bit like you know you're gonna get animals at abandoned buildings. I always keep an open mind about these things. That's why I don't come at night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if someone's just dumped this barbecue here, fly tipped it, or it was here from from 
whoever lived, whoever spent time here or occupied here. I don't know, I don't know anything about this place. I just saw it from the road. Thought I'd come and give it a, give it a look. And here are some other very ruined structures. But no idea. These what. are quite, well, they're very substantial concrete steps. So again, with a door, you know, proper gate. So this place was something, definitely was something. Don't know why, excuse the wind, I don't know why it fell into disrepair and I don't know how long it's been here abandoned like this. But the wind is whipping round around this old abandoned cabin. Like the ghosts from that Bob Dylan song that I forgot the name of. Spooky. So that was the third rate content visit to the, to the uh, Shrewsbury Newport Canal and the abandoned cabin in the woods. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you three times as soon. And uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, feel free to comment. By all means do share and hit that notification bell if it scratches your itch. I'll see you guys real soon. Third rate content, bye now.